The Department of the Interior and Local Government, or DILG, plan to press charges against former Cebu City Mayor Tomas Osmeña. This is in connection with his order of stripping the mayor's office off of fixtures, which should have been for his successor, Mayor Edgar Labella. According to DILG Undersecretary Jonathan Malaya, the act was strange and uncalled for. We are saddened no? and alarmed uh, by this development because um, it does not serve as a good example to all of our other local chief executives if they would do the same. Osmania has earlier defended that it was his money used in fixing the mayor's office in 2010 as the city council rejected his fund request. However, Malaya insists Osmania should have requested for reimbursement of his personal expenditure. Since he naman yung mayor, it would have been very easy for him to be reimbursed. The agency clarified they are still in the course of the investigation to find out if it was indeed Osmeña's personal money used in fixing the office amounting to 2 million pesos. The DILG add they are now coordinating with the city government of Cebu on their earlier plan to file charges against the former local chief executive before the office of the ombudsman for allegedly violating Article 308 of the Revised Penal Code for Theft and Section 3E of Republic Act 3019 or the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act. Meanwhile, former Manila Mayor Joseph Estrada may also face charges for his alleged failure of turning over official city government documents to newly elected Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno Domagoso. The DILG spokesperson stresses it is the responsibility of the outgoing chief executive to organize a transition team and have a full turnover of the city's official documents to the incoming administration. We will consider filing charges against the former mayor. So let's await siguro muna yung, ano, yung uh, result of the, of, the, of the investigation kung ano ba talaga yung nangyari if indeed there was no transfer. The turnover ceremony was supposed to happen last Friday but had been cancelled due to the absence of Estrada and his transition team. Harleen Delgado, UNTV News and Rescue, Quezon City.